everyone thinks of Hawaii, you think of you know white sandy beaches and blue water and all that stuff. Consistent great waves here. We have jaws. Everybody looks towards. That's what most people think of when they come here. It's just a really water-based place. Surfing's super cool, but for me, it's like that dirt wave of just solitude and just ripping on the dirt. I don't get that when I surf. I'm Aaron Reichert, or AKA Moose. I am the owner, proprietor, you know, of Crank Cycles here on Maui. I moved here back in 1998. Ended up trading a kayak for a bike to rehab my knees, and here I am in the bike industry. I started to uh, get into a lot of advocacy and started uh, getting involved, and my buddy and I, we started this mountain bike club called the Maui Mountain Bike Coalition. There's a big core group of OG people that's been way before I did this stuff that had been building trails and paving the way for us to really be able to do what we do up here. And then now we have this new blood and this new generation that's coming after us. You know, like the guys like Justin and Adam with Flow Farm Pacific, man, those, those two guys are rad. I'm Justin Verlajay. I'm a trail builder here on Maui. Biking here has so much potential just because of the terrain. And like Mako Forest has so many gulches. I mean, not to mention that it's in this beautiful forest. I mean, Maui has endless potential for mountain biking because we have a mountain that goes 10,000 feet. And then like my first thought when I started going down the trail is it reminded me of like riding a big wave. It was like a flow state for 10 minutes instead of 20 seconds on a wave. My name is Raymond Watson. I'm the president of the Maui Mountain Bike Coalition. We're a nonprofit organization that was started years ago when Makwao Forest was open to the public, uh, partnering with the state in Naalahele to take care of these trails. And um, there's such a vibrant community that has been created over the years. And I just want to see that continue to grow and work with the state and show them that we're good stewards of the land that we have access to. You know, be able to host more events and do more fun activities on top of all the work we put in to keep the trails open. It's Cameron Zink. I'm a professional mountain bike rider. I've been doing this my entire life, you know, living at it since I was 17. Moved here with my family about a year ago, and I couldn't be happier to put, call this place home. It's an incredible place to live, but you know, who would know? It's, a, it's an incredible place to ride mountain bikes too. Especially in Makawao, for a public trail system, it's world class. It's one of the best trail systems, concentrated pump track, skills area, and flow trail, and other trails that I've ever seen anywhere. The mountain biking on Maui is definitely family friendly, but the Makawa Forest itself is fantastic. It's designed from the three skills areas to be progressively uh, advancing in each one, and especially the whole flow trail, the Pineapple Express. And that's why we're trying to change that with the Mountain Bike Club. And all these new projects are coming out in these new land areas so we can make uh, kid-friendly places. Trail organizations take the initiative and get everyone together because like anything in life, there's strength in numbers and mountain biking is no different. You know, if you just have one guy building trails, you can only cover so much and it takes a lot of work. Adding in other people and a little, even just a little bit of organization, but that strength in number just keeps perpetuating it. The trail systems prove that if you have a good coalition and a group together, then this is what you get. Funding is imperative to trail organizations, right? Without funding, nothing happens. The Maui Mountain Bike Coalition depends on donations and in being an organization as i said gives us a voice right and and that's what a club is our organization is is a voice without being a voice nothing gets done the message is really help right you know there's been like 10 to 15 of us really holding it together for the last 20 years the addition of people since covid getting into mountain biking and mountain biking becoming really mainstream right now, it, it's big. So more people are using the trails, it's taking more, more time to maintain and, and to make more trails so there's more relief. The culture knows, it's like we need help. And as, as, as is spoken in, in the past, like no dig, no ride. And that's just meaning if you can't get out there physically to dig on the trail, then get out and, and dig in the pocket and, and help out in that capacity. And I know of all people, like I run a business, I have a family, I can't always get out to dig, but I can certainly do some type of digging.